Since February of last year, Jefferson County has been doing construction on Grants Mill Road. If you travel that road, you've seen it. Well, tomorrow, part of that road will reopen. CBS 42's Maddie McQueen joins us in studio tonight. And Maddie, I know what drivers want to see. What can they expect tomorrow? Well, this roundabout at Grants Mill Road and Old Leeds Road is expected to open up tomorrow afternoon, but Irondale Police says that they'll have increased patrols out there to make sure that traffic is flowing smoothly through the new pattern. They want to make sure that they get all the some signs up so that, you know, people will have signage to help them navigate the roundabout. The two lane roundabout at Grants Mill Road and Old Leeds Road will be open to traffic Wednesday afternoon. However, Irondale police are still recommending people use detours as construction won't be over. We want people to be really careful about, you know, somebody working along the side of the road. While there will be increased police presence for the first day of the roundabout, the county doesn't think there will be an increase in car crashes due to the traffic flow change. The fact that it's a roundabout already makes it safer, so we're not really concerned about an increase in accidents because that's the nature of roundabouts. The angle that it causes cars to enter at is much less dangerous than a traditional lighted intersection. Irondale City Council President David Spivey says while the roundabout will be a new adjustment for people in the community, he thinks it will improve traffic flow overall. And after people go through it for a few times, it's going to be, you know, like nothing. So I don't anticipate any uh, any um, undue stress on the community or anything. And I know that the police department is working with the community trying to send out, hey, this is how this works type of situation. Um, so hopefully, you know, no one just goes straight straight through it or pulls the Dukes of Hazard or anything. But we're optimistic that the community is going to, you know, be just fine. The county says construction on the rest of Grants Mill Road is expected to be finished on schedule by mid-September. Maddie McQueen, CBS 42 News. Maddie